cure sometimes, treat often, comfort always. Wherever the art of medicine is loved, there is also a love of humanity. The greatest medicine of all is teaching people how not to need it. If you are not your own doctor, you are a fool. Walking is a man's best medicine. Let your food be your medicine, and your medicine be your food. Sport is a preserver of health. He who wishes to be a surgeon should go to war. It's far more important to know what person the disease has than what disease the person has. The way to health is to have an aromatic bath and a scented massage every day. The natural healing force within each one of us is the greatest force in getting well. The art is long, life is short. Healing in a matter of time, but it is sometimes also a matter of opportunity. Make a habit of two things, to help, or at least to do no harm. If someone wishes for good health, one must first ask oneself if he is ready to do away with the reasons for his illness. Only then is it possible to help him. Our food should be our medicine and our medicine should be our food. Anyone wishing to study medicine must master the art of massage. Illnesses do not come upon us out of the blue. They are developed from small daily sins against nature. When enough sins have accumulated, illnesses will suddenly appear. Natural forces within us are the true healers of disease. Leave your drugs in the chemist's pot if you can heal the patient with food. Men ought to know that from the brain, and from the brain only, arise our pleasures, joy, laughter and jests, as well as our sorrows, pains, griefs, and tears. When in sickness, look to the spine first. The wise man should consider that health is the greatest of human blessings. Let food be your medicine. Whenever a doctor cannot do good, he must be kept from doing harm. Before you heal someone, ask him if he's willing to give up the things that make him sick. Science is the father of knowledge, but opinion breeds ignorance. The soul is the same in all living creatures, although the body of each is different. If we could give every individual the right amount of nourishment and exercise, not too little and not too much, we would have found the safest way to health. Men think epilepsy divine, merely because they do not understand it. We will one day understand what causes it, and then cease to call it divine. And so it is with everything in the universe. Life is short, art long, opportunity fleeting, experiment uncertain, and judgment difficult. Everything in excess is opposed to nature. He who does not understand astrology is not a doctor, but a fool. There are in fact two things, science and opinion. The former begets knowledge, the latter ignorance. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. Life is short, and the art long, the occasion fleeting, experience fallacious, and judgment difficult. The physician must not only be prepared to do what is right himself, but also to make the patient, the attendants, and externals cooperate. The function of protecting and developing health must rank even above that of restoring it when it is impaired. Even when all is known, the care of a man is not yet complete, because eating alone will not keep a man well he must also take exercise. For food and exercise, while possessing opposite qualities, yet work together to produce health. 